Welcome to this special edition of Frequency Matters, the RF and Microwave Update Series. I'm Pat Hindle. I'm here with Abhishek Kapoor, Vice President, and Pete Mooseberger, Vice President of Antenna Technology, both at Anoki Wave. Welcome, guys. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. So Anoki Wave has been working hard on a unique and exciting product release, and we're excited to show it here first on Frequency Matters. Let's start off with Abhishek. How has the last year been for Anoki Wave and what are you seeing in the market in the area of millimeter wave active antennas? Absolutely, Pat. First of all, great to see you. It's been a long while in this virtual world. Very nice to be uh, reconnected over video. Uh, last year has been very good, very interesting. There were, of course, uh, ups and downs, some of it because of the pandemic situation, and some of it because of the global economic situation. But the good news is that after the temporary pause that we saw in the market, we are seeing the millimeter wave active antennas continue to be a very strong growth area across 5G, SATCOM, aerospace and defense market. We are seeing more design activity now, more companies wanting to get into millimeter wave 5G active antennas than ever before. And uh, as a company, we are doing well. Uh, generation three, in the last year, we actually released our generation three beam former ICs and IF up and down rotor ICs. And when I say released, I mean, production ready, shipping and volume, uh, being used by customers in actual designs. So that's done. Apart from that, we have been focusing a lot in uh, helping our customers, not just at an IC level, but at a system level to help them accelerate the whole millimeter wave 5G active antenna designs. So as a company, uh, a lot of activity going on in the area of active antennas. One thing that we have started to notice is that Commercialization of active antennas continues to be a challenge. Uh, a lot of folks uh, find building active antennas uh, challenging, especially in the millimeter wave world. Uh, so I know Q wave is putting a lot of time and money in so helping our customers solve that problem. Uh, in the last one year, that is becoming more and more apparent as newer players are trying to get into the millimeter wave active antenna space. So speaking of the challenges in the millimeter wave market, I believe you have a special uh, product announcement. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, absolutely. So keeping up with the tradition of announcing something unique, something special at Microwave Journal early in the year. Uh, this year also we have a very special announcement of a new product or new platform that we will be, we will be announcing, or we will be introducing. But before I get that, I just want to highlight the theme of an Oki Wave as a company. We are a fabulous semiconductor IC company, and our goal is to provide the enabling ICs that make millimeter wave active antennas a commercial reality, may it be in terms of 5G, SATCOM, or defense area. What we are introducing today is what we call active antenna innovator kits using our latest generation or Gen 3 beamformer ICs and IFICs. These are complete antenna front ends going from millimeter wave all the way down to IF and can be easily used to prototype, do a proof of concept for a quick 5G type radio or antenna design. It's literally a plug and play solution. You can easily scale this design up or down to whatever requirements you have. So our goal is to provide the market with a tool that they can use and adopt to learn more about active antennas, become familiar with the active antenna technology, and more importantly, accelerate their path to bringing their products to radio quickly. We designed this entire active antenna innovator kit in-house using uh, the expertise of Pete's team, and we'll get into more details about this kit. It's 100% designed, active antennas, PCB, digital interface cards, power, circuitry, everything is done in-house by Noki Wave, and it speaks to the quality and capabilities of the work that Noki Wave can uh, provide or support our customers at. Additionally, you will see in some of the measurement results in the first pass design success, we got a first pass design success on this in one third the time of what it takes a typical commercial company to do active antenna design. So again, it speaks to the high quality of the team's capability plus the power of the Anoki Wave ICs that we have been shipping for multiple years now in the market. This is the difference between uh, a spec on a piece of paper versus uh, an actual working array. More importantly, I think what it will also allow our customers to do uh, is to evaluate the performance of our ICs at an array level. Uh, looking at an IC spec is one thing, but actually evaluating array level spec is a whole different ballgame. 
And this will allow customers to look at our ICs at the level that they care. And that's the power of these active antenna innovative kits that we are introducing and announcing today. Wow, that's very impressive. So how did your team accomplish this project in such a short amount of time? Yeah, so Pete Moosbrugger, who's with us today, I let him actually get into uh, uh, the details and uh, how his team made this possible. Uh, just as a very quick primer, a quick background, Pete joined us about one and a half years ago, and he's the vice president of our advanced antenna systems group. And he's lead, leading the design of all these active antenna innovator kits to help our customers have a starting platform to do these designs. And I'll let Pete walk through uh, his role at Innovative and what his team is doing and the capabilities we have. Yeah, thanks, Abhishek. Um, and before I get into our team, you know, I was an Anoki Wave customer for over a decade and had uh, have built and delivered arrays with their ICs. And, uh, and so I have had a lot of interaction with them before I joined Anoki Wave. Uh, one of the things that always impressed me about the, the engineers at Anoki Wave, even though they were selling ICs into the marketplace, they understood phased arrays, they understood phased array systems. And so they they designed in features and capabilities into the, the, their ICs that really help um, integrate uh, a, a low cost phased array solution. And, uh, and so that always impressed me. And when I had the opportunity about a year and a half ago to, to join Anoki Wave, I jumped at, at, at the opportunity. You know, when, when I joined the company a year and a half ago, it was very clear that they were, they were really all in on building uh, the capability at Anoki Wave to help our customers accelerate into the marketplace. As Abhishek mentioned, we're an IC company, so we're not gonna be delivering arrays into the marketplace in production, but our goal is to help accelerate our customers so they can deliver arrays into the marketplace. Um, so he, he mentioned the innovator kit and uh, I have one in front of me. Uh, it's really pretty simple. It's got a face array board. Uh, we have a heat sink on there. Uh, we have a DC converter card that plugs into the side and then a control interface that, that plugs into the array board. Uh, so this is designed um, to be adopted by our customers and can migrate very rapidly into a production environment. It's got all the IO uh, capabilities so that our customers can build 5G products very quickly based on this phased array board. Uh, they can modify the DC power supply uh, to provide different input voltages to supply uh, power to the array board. Uh, they can modify the input uh, control signals uh, with just a simple modification of the card that support virtually any type of interface into the array board to control it. And, uh, and, and this is a, a good um, starting point for, for our customers to use. The, the printed circuit board that's the heart of the design is, is made in a commercial process in, the, in a commercial ecosystem. So when, when uh, it's designed to, to transition rapidly into a production environment. When we hired our team, we looked at people who had millimeter phase array design experience, uh, but also had commercial experience so that they, when they were doing their design, they had in mind how this was gonna be built. And that's really critical to delivering low cost arrays into the 5G ecosystem. Anoki Wave also invested in an anechoic chamber and all the test facilities that we need to test uh, the, the innovator kit and make sure that it meets requirements uh, that are compatible with 5G waveforms, for example. And so that we can, we can map all the way through and look at the, the 3GPP specs and make sure that our arrays are meeting those for performance. So Pete, what is unique about this special innovator kit and what was your experience in developing it? What, what's unique about it is it, it's, it's, a, it's a very advanced starting platform for our customers. So, Again, our customers can take this innovator kit and rapidly build a, a 5G uh, radio or 5G system around it. Uh, and it's, it's uh, most of the heavy lifting on the array portion is complete. We expect that our customers are gonna need to do some modifications, for example, to the power supply or the interface control, uh, but this is ready to, ready to go. Our experience with this array product is that um, we literally uh, had it out of the box. We implemented some features on it, took data on it, and it was very close performance to, to ideal for, um, for meeting our system requirements. 
So we're well above our spec. Um, we have, we're meeting in our EIRP, our radiated power spec with margin. Um, and we're, we're in the, our patterns look uh, really good across the board. We, one feature that we implement on the array is our patented zero cal feature, uh, which enables us to remove um, basically and compensate for any electronic um, amplitude and phase mismatch across the array. So we're, we're able to generate ideal patterns out of the box with this zero cal feature and get near ideal performance. Wow, that's a great achievement. So Avashek, how do you see this product benefiting the market and what can we expect from you going forward? Absolutely, so we think that this will serve as a very good starting platform for customers to adopt an OTBA ICs and build millimeter wave active at us at a mass commercial scale. Uh, we are hoping more companies who are wanting to get into the 5G game at millimeter wave level can now have one additional tool to accelerate their path to market and uh, have radios in all different bands. So just remember, we have ICs across all different bands. We have the capability that to support them on all the different bands. And this is first of the family of many things that we are doing today. So going forward, we expect more and more customers, especially the ones who are newer in the area of 5G, millimeter wave 5G active antennas to adopt starting platforms like this to become uh, a true radio company delivering solutions in the, in the market in high volume. Um, overall, uh, we, we, I just want to emphasize again that we are uh, an IC company and for us, the goal is to enable the radio manufacturers, antenna manufacturers to build active antennas more successfully, quicker and a more cost effective way at a broader scale, at a mass scale. We want to enable the radio companies. We are not trying to be a radio company over here. And going forward, we, we see the future to be very bright. We see the 5G to be an exciting space. We see our ICs to be the most powerful in the market. And these arrays are a testament to the performance that we can achieve. So I, I tell everyone, look, look at our IC at an array level, and this would be a good proof point to evaluate that. Well, thank you, Abhishek and Pete, for joining me today to announce this very exciting new product into the millimeter wave market. We always look forward to seeing you guys as you always have big news. We thank everybody for watching us today and please join us for the next Frequency Matters.